Hey, welcome to Beer 30. I'm Greg. Hey, I'm Josh. And we've got a beer from Great Divide. This is Chocolate Oak Aged Yeti. Yeah, it's their Imperial Stout. Yeah. Decadent and luscious. And it's got a really fancy uh, top there. It's got, like, uh, yeah, let's see. Uh, Came out the right one there. There, right. see, look. Screw that foil is what I say. So this is a big guy. Ooh, look at that. And that is dark. So you were talking about, before we hit play, record, yeah, that's what we do, on this, uh, what, what is actually in this? I know it was brewed in oak chips and um, yeah, cocoa is, nibs. It is very thick and syrupy. Uh, so it's another revered incarnation of our legendary Imperial Stout. Tone down the hops a bit to allow the cocoa nibs to contribute some pleasing bitterness. Uh, while the vanilla notes from oak combine with the cocoa to create an aroma and flavor akin to gourmet chocolate bar. A gourmet chocolate bar? Yeah. You know, I'm getting just like a dark chocolate type yeah. aroma. It's really this this uh, head on here is really sticking around yeah, for a is. while. Yep. It's got nowhere to go, and it's a dark, dark <laughs> color. Yeah. You know? Normally, it's a lighter color. This yeah, is pretty very, dark. Very tan. Yeah. Uh, dash of cayenne keeps things lively, adding just a bit of heat to the finish. It's a little lively. Yeah. I'm actually, I I can taste more of the cayenne than I thought really? I would, yeah. Hmm. I pick up really, really dark chocolate. It is really, really dark. I, I think this might be like the most dark chocolate flavor I've ever had out of a beer. It, <clears throat> it's almost like to the point where it's like that really unsweetened, bitter. yeah. Yeah, it's almost like taking a scoop of the cocoa mm -hmm. powder. I think when I was a kid, mom using that cocoa powder to uh, do baking, mm -hmm. whatever, and she's like, she was just going, oh, why don't you try it? Because I would think, cocoa, oh, this is going to yeah. be awesome. Yeah. Oh, it's real bitter. Uh, this has that bitterness. Yeah, it's it's bitter like that. Um, hmm. But it may be because of the oak. Yeah. I am, you know... I am picking up the oak. It's kind of dry. Yeah. Yeah. I thought this was interesting, though, about the suggested pairings because of guys, you know, we're just simple guys. We, does we're it go simple. with a burger? Does it go with some pizza? Yeah. Uh, suggested food pairings are raw oysters. Oh, eat them all the time. Yeah. Just yeah, had them earlier. Oysters. Yeah. Uh, grilled New York strip. I guess that's a possibility. I yeah. Mean, yeah. New York strips, that the, that's pretty high in that, That's your, when you have a, a T-bone mm -hmm. steak, you have the, the filet mignon on one side, you have your New York strip on the other. I'd probably rate this like a B plus. Really? <clears throat> it's a little too bitter for me. It's not bad. Um, it's still, still pretty decent for what it is. I'd give it more along the lines of maybe a B minus. <laughs> Right, I guess we've rambled on long enough. We've right? rambled. Hey, Greg. Yeah? Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Hey, season's greetings. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Yeah, that too. Merry Christmas.